Hey everyone, sorry I accidentally exited out of the video so I wasn't able to pull the cards in front of you. But um, but here's what we have. So the story I'm getting here, for some, I feel like this is someone that cheated on you that wants to come back around. If that's the case, I really wouldn't give it another chance. For most of you though, I'm getting a strong loneliness and I'm getting that your true love also feels this strong sense of loneliness. And for a lot of you, I want to say that you maybe have dreams about this person. You guys telepathically channel each other. But I don't know if you've necessarily met this person yet. Um, so we have So we have sadness. And I get a very deep sadness. Like a deep longing, um, searching for something. It's not so much missing the past as it is just not knowing where you're going. Not knowing where your future is headed. And I really feel like this this could be both you and your person, your true love. Because we have true love potential life partner here. We have dreams, visions, and telepathy after that. We have truth and clarity, and we have finances and career. We have passion, romance, clubs, parties, social life, fear of commitment, taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other, and loyalty, stability, vows. Then we have vulnerability and receptivity, submissive, weak build, and apology and regret. So... What I'm getting from all this is I feel like you've been in telepathic communication with your person. I feel like this sense of just like sadness, like just not knowing if you're ever going to find your true love. And I really feel like your person feels the same way. Like I feel like you guys have dreams about each other. You're, you're connecting with each other telepathically and you're just wondering if you're ever going to meet each other. I feel like some kind of truth might have come out and I feel like either you or your person started focusing on like finances and career more and focusing more on um, just in the material world, just day to day things. I think that the loneliness, I just get a strong loneliness with these three cards right here. I feel like maybe the loneliness just, I feel like the loneliness just like built up for someone you know everyone feels kind of alone sometimes but this is like deep loneliness like this is like waking up crying or going to sleep crying like not knowing if you're ever gonna have your person this is like very deep loneliness but it does look like there is someone here that has either you know you you go through their dreams or they come through your dreams like maybe even having visions like telepathic communication like you guys are in contact with someone with your true love and it just feels like feels like someone kind of had to pull themselves out of that energy just a little bit because they were like losing themselves in that loneliness and that kind of dreamlike state. And so it seems like someone was kind of focusing more on finances and career. But I'm getting here that... So when you meet this person that you've been channeling, I'm getting that either you or them might not be in your best energy. Um... Feels like there's passion and romance here. I'm just feeling like for this energy group, like you might meet this person when you're partying a lot or they're partying a lot. I feel like like there's nothing wrong with that, but I just it I just get this sense that like you might not meet them in their best state. It's almost like you guys both are having this breakdown or something because you're so tired of being alone. There could be like a festival, like like maybe like a concert or a club or like a festival, like um, could even be something like out of town. But I'm feeling like I'm just feeling that energy for some of you that that might be where you find this person. I feel like I feel like this person might have some addiction issues right now that they're facing as well, like drinking or drugs or you know, because we have clubs, parties, social life. It just feels like. Like, I feel like this person, and again, this could be you. This could be you. You might meet your person when you're in this state. And it might be telling you to find that balance. But for others, I feel like this is your person. Um, you're going to meet them when they're in this state. But I feel like this is mutual. Like, I feel like the loneliness is mutual. Like, you both have been asking the universe, like, are we ever going to find each other? Like, is that ever going to happen for us? Is this person even real? You know, is this love even real? Is this, you know, is this all just a fantasy? And I feel like some of you, you know, both you and your person would be lost yourself in work for a lot for a while, just all work and no play, just, you know, hustling and just struggling and just, you know, like just work, 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 just um, 
you know, maybe not wanting to feel this loneliness and not wanting to feel all these deep, intense, you know, painful emotions. And so some of you, I just feel like maybe you've kind of lost that balance where it's like you're, you're overworked, you're overstressed. And again, this could also be, it could be both of you, or this could just be your person, or it could be you either way, take it as it resonates. But I feel like this person is like, like just stressed, like they, you know, they've overworked themselves. And so I feel like they're reaching that breaking point where it's like, they just want the passion and romance and happiness back in their life. And for some of them, they're going to find that through the party scene because it's like they, they know you guys haven't found each other yet. They don't know where to find you. Um, they're tired of just working all the time. They're tired of losing themselves in work. They're tired. It's just someone who's like numb. Just imagine someone, you know, working, you know, nine to five, five days a week or maybe even more than that for some of them. Um, could be like a businessman or businesswoman energy here, too. But it's like someone that's just kind of lost themselves to work. Or just some kind of struggle, like some kind of like financial stress or just, it just feels like the loneliness was like kind of weighing on them. And maybe, you know, this truth came out that they need to find, you know, this person needs to find that balance, you know, you know, believe this love is coming, but also put yourself out there and go and have fun and live your best life. And I feel like maybe this person kind of took that advice and just, you know, lost, they, they there's an imbalance in another area of their life now because now they've kind of lost themselves in work where it's like, you know, they were just kind of supposed to find that balance and just maybe focus a little bit more on work. But it seems like maybe someone just, you know, gave everything to work instead because they don't want to feel this energy and this pain um, or to or to college or to whatever they're studying. And it's, it's a really good thing to be devoted to those things. But it's like you have to have fun, too. You have to have passion and romance and, you know, excitement in your life, too. It can't just be all work and no play. You have to have, you have to rest. You have to have that outlet. You have to have that, that break. You have to have things in your life that are enjoyable and worth living for. But, you know, it's hard when you're in a lot of pain and when you feel like, um, it, it's like a defense mechanism where it's like you just feel like if you slow down, you're going to feel all of this, all this like depression, this loneliness, this heartache. And, and so, so yeah, this person really lost themselves to work. So I feel like they're trying to bring the passion and romance back into their life. So they might end up turning to substances. They might be partying a lot. I feel like there's, I don't, I don't see it. Okay. So this is like fear of commitment. I don't see it as like a fear of like being with someone. I see it as more like a fear of in this particular context. I feel like it's more like this person might struggle to let this go because they don't want to, they feel like if they let this go, they're going to have to choose between these two energies. They're either going to go back into just not doing anything and just being at home, being alone and depressed all the time, just wondering if they're ever going to find true love, or they're going to have to go back to, you know, working all the time and just losing themselves in things to distract themselves from, you know, being alone. And, and so I feel like this person might have like a little bit of like a, you know, like not like a fear of commitment, but just like a fear of letting this energy go, a fear of, you know, being alone, being sad, being or or the opposite, you know, just being lost in work and not having fun. Like they they might hold on to this a little bit. I feel like when you so I think it's kind of like a warning, like for those of you that you feel like you're about to meet this person, like you're channeling them, you're feeling them. It's like just kind of saying like you know, be patient with them. Like definitely do not tolerate abuse or neglect or anything of that sort. Like if this person's a player or a cheater, no, screw them. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about maybe someone who's like a really good person, but they're a little bit lost in drinking or, you know, um, the, the party scene right now. They're a little bit like, like, like almost like a little self-destructive right now. Like not completely self-destructive. Like they're still you know, they've still got their job in their, their apartment or their home or whatever. Like they're doing okay, but it's like they're, um, like, like, I think you'll see pain in this person's eyes and I think you'll resonate with that pain, that loneliness, that, you know, that energy of just not being understood, just not having your person. It's like, you just want to be someone's favorite person and you want to give that to someone as well. Um, so I think you'll kind of see that pain in their eyes. This isn't someone who is just shallow and just partying and just whatever. This is someone who's, you know, 
in pain and and blowing off some steam and trying to bring the passion and the romance back into their life and they don't really have any creative outlets and they don't really have a strong support system so they don't really know how to do that so they're doing it through these you know more negative outlets but you know you know what i mean like part, partying does not have to be a negative outlet though it doesn't have to be a negative thing this could be a really positive thing but it's like they just might overdo it because it's like they've kind of reached that breaking point with everything else you know what i mean so it's just kind of a warning that you might find your true love, but, you know, you might be pulling them out of some energy. Or this could be vice versa. This could be you. And maybe your true love is going to find you in this energy. And it's like kind of making sure like, hey, don't sabotage this when this comes in. You know, don't don't just assume it's too good to be true. As always, if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box right below this video. It is dragonenchantress at AWOL.com. Um... And just, yeah, just copy that and email me. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. So anyway, you could meet this person at like, like through friends or at like a party or a club or like a concert or some kind of events or something. I don't know, like, is there like a three or four day event coming up or something that could be I'm trying to think. But I feel like you're going to be taking it slow and kind of pulling them in and like being patient with them and getting to know them. You know what I mean? Like you're not going to, you're not going to push them into anything. I just feel like you're going to be patient and like, I feel like you're just going to kind of know, like you need to trust your intuition. Like I said, this is not a player. This isn't a cheater. This isn't a person that's a piece of crap. This is a good person who's just overdoing it a little bit with the drinking or the partying just because they've been alone. You know what I mean? And honestly, I feel like drinking, you know, I don't recommend drinking. I'm not saying I do, but like, like I drink once in a while and I almost see it as a purging process. It's definitely not something I want to do all the time, but you know, and it, it can lower your vibration if you're in the wrong state. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, I don't, I don't see it as like a horrible, toxic, dirty thing. You know what I mean? I think it's part of the human experience. It's, you know, I, I personally feel great sometimes when I go out and I just dance, you know, just, just going out and dancing. Like I don't, you know, to each their own. Some people don't resonate with that energy, but it's really up to you. So I'm just saying, you know, no judgments here and don't judge this person either, please. But, um... But yeah, I feel like you'll be patient with them. And like I said, you know, intuitively, you're going to sense this energy. You're going to sense that this is a good person who's just been alone for too long and they just, they don't have any healthy outlets. They don't have a, they don't have the support system they need. You know, I think you're going to see a lot of pain in their eyes that you're going to resonate with. Um... I feel like they're going to get to know you, but they might be like a little bit guarded at first like not like super guarded but just I feel like this person's very strong and I feel like they've been through a lot their entire life so they have some trust issues but this this is not a coward this is not the type of person that runs from love no I would never suggest going for someone like that this is someone who's just you know they've been hurt a lot just like everybody else has and they've been alone for a long time so I almost just feel like it can be off-putting to other people just because they've been alone for so long that they might have like communication issues or they might seem like a little overly in independent. But I feel like this person's still going to put some effort into getting to know you. Um, but yeah, and I feel like you're going to be taking it slow. You're going to be patient with them. You're going to be pulling them in and kind of giving them their space. And I really do feel like they're going to pursue you. And I think they're going to be loyal to you. I think you see it's like this mask is coming off and they feel comfortable because you're giving them this safe space. You know what I mean? Like you're, it's a really beautiful energy because it's like you understand them and they understand you and you guys don't really have that with anybody else. You know, it's like you're their person and vice versa. And I just feel like, like they're going to take that mask off with you. Like at first, like I said, they're not going to be, I, I don't feel like they're going to sabotage things. I don't feel like they're going to run. No, none of that toxic bullshit. I just feel like this is someone who's, you know, very strong, has a lot of life experience. They've, they've gone through so much. So when they meet someone, they're, you know, they might not be super trusting at first. This person might also have a lot of money. And so they might be kind of like guarded because they've met so many gold diggers in their life. So they might be like, 
you know, when they meet somebody, they might not be like 100% sure about it at first. Like they want to really get to know them. I feel like this person's observant. They like to read people. They like to kind of feel people out. But, um, but yeah, I feel like you're going to be patient. You're going to, you're going to kind of just have them pursuing you and they are going to be loyal to you. I feel like, you know, your vulnerability too, it's like an example for them where they're going to be submissive with you and they're going to apologize for any off-putting energy that, you know, they presented when they, when you guys first met each other is kind of what I'm feeling here. So if you're planning on going to an event, I would go like a festival or something. Are you guys, are you guys planning on going to anything like that? Like I would go to that if this is your story. Because you could find somebody there. And this isn't for everybody. I don't want to like, you know, I'm sure there's people here that are going to festivals and you're not going to meet anybody there. You know, I don't want to say this is for everybody. But if you feel really drawn to go someplace and you're like, oh, I feel like someone's there, you know, I would go for it. Do what feels right for you. Use your intuition. Else, do you want to say about this? Open, honest communication, message, reconciliation, happiness, warmth, light. You might also get a message from an ex wanting to reconcile because they realize that you were their everything. Um, but they didn't want you when you were alone and depressed. They just want you now because they feel you moving on. To they feel you manifesting somebody else. They feel that your energy is not with them anymore. So I think you're going to be ending that pattern. I don't think you're going to want the X back. But um, here's what I have for you. And, and like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. It's right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are deeply appreciated. My donation links are also below in the description box. Um, please like, share, you know, comment. Please subscribe to me as well. Thank you guys for watching.